Worcester State University class of 2020. Congratulations, you made it. You made it through a very unpredictable time in history and you should be so proud of that. Success in life is largely about overcoming problems no matter what career path you choose. Be assured, your leadership, your talent, and your perspective are needed. Hold on to your courage, you can make a difference. Never be afraid to put yourself out there and be yourself. Continue to aim high, work hard, and know that you can accomplish anything. The world is gonna need leaders like you to show up into the world to really help propel our next generation of leaders. Don't let anybody tell you what you can't do. You're a Worcester State graduate, you can do anything. The world is your oyster and it's up to you to find the purpose. When you find those opportunities to give back to your local community, give back to Greater Worcester, we all appreciate you. Take care. Tremendous accomplishment, class of 2020. We're so proud of you. Congratulations, Worcester State, class of 2020. Go Lancers! Congratulations, class of 2020. You guys did it! Now, Use all the tools that you learned at WSU and go get it done. Good morning, families and friends of the graduates of the class of 2020 at Worcester State University. It's my pleasure and honor to welcome you to our 144th commencement ceremony. This year's commencement is virtual for the safety and health of all our participants due to the coronavirus pandemic. The pandemic started in the spring semester, which had begun just like any other semester, and then we learned together of a growing worldwide health emergency. Faculty quickly shifted classes to remote learning, and students followed, learning to navigate this new and sometimes unknown learning platform. Conducting labs online with content meant to be delivered in person was no easy feat, and yet our students, with the support of their faculty, prevailed. Students and faculty demonstrated that remote learning offered ways in which to be creative and that a crisis can become a learning opportunity. To the students who missed out on so many unique, celebratory, and once-in-a-lifetime experiences, and to our student athletes whose seasons were cut short, thank you. Thank you for persevering with us through this unprecedented time and to allow us to navigate it with you and to our amazing and dedicated faculty who modeled leadership and tenacity for our students in the midst of uncertainty all semester and in all other semesters. Thank you. It's my honor and privilege to introduce President Barry M. Maloney, the 11th president of Worcester State University. Thank you, Dr. Wims. On behalf of Worcester State University, I virtually welcome our state legislators, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, and other distinguished guests as well as the friends and families of our 1,230 graduating seniors. To our students who are officially becoming alumni today, congratulations. We thank you for your perseverance, tenacity, and most of all, your resilience to succeed in these unprecedented times. On any other commencement day, I would bring greetings and remarks from the DCU Center in Worcester. You will be greeting your fellow classmates, taking candid cell phone pictures, and preparing for the processional amidst the fanfare of family, friends, and supporters. However, this, 
the 144th commencement ceremony of Worcester State University is not like any other commencement. This one is virtual due to the need to protect your health and the health of your critical support system of family and friends. While an in-person ceremony is always preferred, this online format shouldn't take away from your pride in what this day represents, the joyful culmination of years of hard work and perseverance. It may be easy to focus on what you have lost because of global forces beyond your control. Instead, I would like to remind you what these strange days have highlighted, your ability to transform, adapt, and create something new. These are essential foundational skills that you will use throughout your life, making you stronger and better prepared for the inevitable curveballs that will be thrown your way in the future. I saw this demonstrated in the stories I read about our students like Rachel Steer, a student athlete whose season was cut short like so many others due to the pandemic, who used her team camaraderie skills working as a nurse's assistant at Norwood Hospital alongside her mother, Lisa, who is a registered nurse at the same hospital. Rachel says she always knew that she wanted to follow in her mother's footsteps into nursing, and this crisis has confirmed her passion for making an impact on her patients' lives. Or Michaela Mooney, a liberal arts and political science major with aspirations for advocacy and law, who assembled personal care packets of handmade face masks and hand sanitizer from members of Abby's House, a transitional program in Worcester. Michaela's desire to give back to others was born out of engagement experiences she had over the past four years at Worcester State as an active member of CLUES and her work with the Benenda Center. And seniors Gina Phillips, Chantal Thomas, and Anthony Marzelli of the Visual and Performing Arts Department, who turned the Music Mosaic Showcase virtual, allowing it to be experienced by a broader audience than I believe they could have ever envisioned. Transformation, adaptation, and creation of something new is what our faculty demonstrate each academic year with our students. Yet the coronavirus yielded even more this semester, such as biology associate professor Roger Greenwell and chemistry professor Magna Dillip, who relied on virtual labs to support their hands-on experimental learning, some offered through an online resource, and others they performed and videotaped live themselves like Associate Professor Mary Clay, a skilled online instructor who placed additional accounting classes in Blackboard and recorded sessions on a YouTube channel to provide detailed explanations of her lessons so that her students could access them on demand. And Assistant Professor of Psychology, Nicole Rosa, who dressed in her academic regalia on May 16th, our original date for commencement, and drove to the homes of 10 graduating seniors from her developmental capstone course, presenting them with a congratulatory lawn sign and wishing them well. In addition to being a dedicated faculty member, she also reminded us what it means to be a wonderful human being. I've seen how the members of the class of 2020 have navigated these unprecedented situations with determination. There's been no roadmap to guide you no prior crisis from which you can draw that experience. Challenging times often give birth to creative ways to adapt, and our faculty and students have shown an admirable ability to do just that. To the class of 2020, my charge to you as you leave Worcester State to start your career, continue with professional or graduate studies, or embark on other aspirational pursuits is to continue to adapt, transform, and always seek to learn something new. This global pandemic has taught you to adapt. You adapted to a new set of norms that seemed always in flux, yet you made the transition look seamless and under control, which we sometimes discovered during routine check-ins by faculty, staff, and administrators. You learn to transform. You learn to transform crisis into unique opportunities. While the global pandemic was encroaching upon our daily routine, you learned how to navigate remote learning, take meetings, discussion groups, quizzes, tests, and interviews in Zoom land, and improved your skill set in the process. You learned something new about yourself and the world around you. The speed at which societal conversations shift can often be breathtaking, 
whether it's recognizing our shared responsibility to protect each other from a highly contagious virus, or finally acknowledging wildly unbalanced life experiences based on skin color and systemic flaws rooted in centuries of discrimination. As you transition today from Worcester State to your career, professional graduate studies, or other pursuits, don't forget to use the foundation laid by your professors and the lessons from this global pandemic as your roadmap to success. The class of 2020 will be forever known as the class and the generation that adapted, transformed, and was always ready to learn, lead, and experience something new. I want to end on a personal note to remind you all how proud I am of everything that you have accomplished, everything that you have persevered through, and everything that you have meant to the Worcester State University community. I am confident that each of you will be successful as you enter the next chapter of your lives. Congratulations and best wishes. Welcome family, friends, faculty, staff, and fellow graduates. My name is Maribel Mateo and I am one of your class co-chairs. I would like to begin by saying congratulations because as a class of 2020, we did it. We accomplished many milestones that may have seemed impossible. As we gather together on this day, we can't forget the heartache we face as a class. As a class of 2020, we must acknowledge the fact that the end of our race came quicker than expected. But we must also acknowledge that we are the class who triumphed through these hard times. We may not be walking the stage that we all desired all so much, but that does not take away from the hard work and dedication we put to receive these degrees. I want to remember the good times and always reminisce about the times that made us all so proud to be a Lancer. The times at Worcester State have given us the opportunity to grow and continue to excel in many ways. At Worcester State, we were more than just students. We were leaders, athletes, role models, activists, parents, workers, and so much more. I congratulate us for being the best we could be while receiving an education. As we gather here today, take a second to think back on all the memories we created and shared as a class of 2020. From Midnight Madness to Homecoming, we all share the Wu Pride. I want to remind you all that the memories we share will never fade, and we will never forget that the marathon must continue. My name is Camille Bourbeau, and I'm the other class of 2020 co-chair. Graduation is not an end goal, it is a larger journey of life. Looking back to when I was little, college graduates seemed so old to me. Old in a way where they were grown and had their whole life figured out. Now that we are here, I know that it is not the case as I feel so young with much left to learn. There is so much to show for these past four years besides the stress, tears, and studying that we endured. We have made good memories with newfound friends, gained new knowledge, and grown individually. No matter what, there are always bumps in the road, literally, as the commuters know. We all worked so hard to get to this day, and all that work did not go to waste. A college diploma is a phenomenal tool and gift to have in this world, one in which opens many doors of opportunity. Today is a new beginning for all of us. Some will start their planned careers while others are continuing their education. No matter the direction you take, there will always be lessons along the way. Life truly is a journey, all accomplishments are starting points for more achievements. The graduating class of 2020 is unstoppable and has the ability to influence others in a positive light. Today, among us, there will be amazing teachers, nurses, future lawyers, business people, and so many more who are going to lead others. This is just the beginning. Our new futures have so much potential. Wherever it takes us, let it be an adventure. Hello, my name is Stephen Madaus. I am chairman of the Board of Trustees of Worcester State University. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I congratulate all of you. As trustees, we appreciate and care deeply about the experiences of our students and feel privileged to share with you in this special day. We know our professors have done a great job giving you the opportunity to learn well, to grow, and to reach your potential. It is clear that you have seized the opportunity because you have made it here today, albeit virtually. It may take a while for you to fully comprehend the significance of your accomplishments, but let me assure you 
that this ceremony, even while virtual, is more than a tradition. It is a vital milestone in your life, one which you will always remember. Again, congratulations. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker and honorary degree recipient, Dr. Lisa Colombo. Dr. Colombo is the senior most executive at Commonwealth Medicine, overseeing the healthcare, consulting, and operations division of the University of Massachusetts Medical School, a role she assumed in 2018. Dr. Colombo has devoted her entire career to improving healthcare systems and services in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. She has served in many roles in several healthcare systems, including Senior Vice President, Chief Nursing Officer, Executive Director of Ambulatory Services, and Vice President of Patient Care, to name but a few. Dr. Colombo is an educator, writer, and published peer reviewer who has taught doctoral level courses at the University of Massachusetts Medical School Graduate School of Nursing. She is a Commonwealth appointee to the Board of Trustees here at Worcester State University, as well as an exceptional alumna. Therefore, Dr. Colombo, in recognition of your outstanding achievements in public health and your commitment to the people of Massachusetts, as evidenced by your leadership, dedication, and advancement in the field of healthcare, and by the authority of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts vested in the Board of Higher Education and by its delegation to the Board of Trustees, the President, the Faculty, and this university, I am proud to confer upon Dr. Lisa Colombo the degree of Doctor of Science in Nursing, honoris causa. Thank you, Chairman Medaus, President Maloney, and my fellow trustees, and you, the graduates of the class of 2020. I am overwhelmed by your generosity and this extraordinary honor. I owe so much to Worcester State University and all of those who brought me to this moment. I especially want to thank the most important people of all, my parents. I wish they were alive today to share this with me. So as your commencement speaker, let me first say how important it is to thank your parents, friends, and relatives for all their love and support. They will always share in the joy of your successes, as will your professors and advisors. Be sure to stay connected. They are your touchstones and the foundation of your professional network. I know things have been difficult since COVID-19 so abruptly changed your lives. I understand that having a virtual graduation is disappointing and likely a bit painful, yet you have all persevered. For the record, my messages would have been the same today, regardless of the pandemic. But my experience during this time has given me a way to make them relevant. I want to share with you my lessons from a global pandemic. As Chairman Medaus mentioned, I am the Executive Vice Chancellor at Commonwealth Medicine, the Consulting and Operations Division of UMass Medical School. We work closely with the state, serving those who rely on public assistance for their health and well-being. Late one Sunday night, at the end of March, the Massachusetts Deputy Secretary for Health and Human Services called to tell me about a severe outbreak of COVID-19 at the Soldiers Home in Holyoke. He needed help immediately and asked if I knew anyone who could do it. I really couldn't think of anyone in that moment. He told me to sleep on it and he would call me in the morning. He called at 8 a.m. and said, the secretary and I think you are the best person for this job. How soon can you get to Holyoke? I knew I had the experience to help, yet in that split second, I was paralyzed with fear. I knew the seriousness of what I had to do and the threat it could pose to my health and to others. But without hesitation, I said yes, I can help. Lesson number one, never let fear stand in the way of doing what you know you are capable of. There was one hitch. I have an autoimmune condition, so going into a COVID hotspot probably was ill-advised, but it was a calculated risk. As a nurse, I know how to protect myself and prevent the spread of an infection. Lesson number two, take calculated risks. And number three, rely on your education, training, and experience to guide you. I remember driving home the second day of my assignment, my head filled with awful images, and suddenly I realized I was crying. Just then the phone rang. It was my 90-year-old father, a Korean War veteran himself, calling from the rehabilitation facility where he was living temporarily. He couldn't believe what was happening at the soldier's home. I told him I was working hard to help the veterans. I'm a veteran, he said. 
Yes, Dad, I know, but you don't have COVID-19. You are safe. I spent nearly six weeks in Holyoke, experiencing firsthand what COVID-19 did to the veterans, their families, the staff, and the Holyoke community. The conditions were so severe that we needed the help of the National Guard. Brigadier General Driscoll was their commander and my partner in coordinating the military and civilian efforts. The general never left my side. When I left Holyoke, I thanked him for being such a good partner, and he told me, never leave your wingman. Lesson number four. When my assignment was ending, I was tested for COVID-19 and thankfully tested negative. I was relieved and happy until later that day when I got the call from the rehab facility telling me my dad had tested positive. It seemed like a cruel irony. He was declining quickly and wanted to die at home. Thankfully, we were able to take him home on hospice. Ten days later, he died peacefully in the company of my brothers and me. I was so grateful to be with him, a privilege that so many families were robbed of during this pandemic. My father always said he wanted military honors at his funeral, so when the funeral director told me military honors had been suspended, my heart sank. But I've learned, never say never. Remember General Driscoll, who told me never to leave your wingman? He was true to his word, and he said he could help. A few days later, when my family members and I pulled into the cemetery behind my father's hearse, there were four guardsmen in their dress blues standing at attention, one trumpet player, two for the flag service, and General Driscoll, who handed me the flag and thanked me for my father's service. I realized how lucky I was. Had I never gone to Holyoke and developed a relationship with the general, those military honors would not have been possible. I've just given you lessons five, six, and seven. Never say never. Relationships are everything, and everything happens for a reason. There you have it, a few pearls of wisdom from a fellow Lancer, things that I have come to appreciate and to live by. Worcester State University, class of 2020, this is your time. You are ready to start your new journey. Go forward and live it intentionally. You are the future of this country. Take these and all the lessons you've learned and use them to make the world a better place. Thank you so much for the privilege of being with you today. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Colombo, for those wonderful and inspiring remarks. To the class of 2020, we salute you for your dedication and your hard work. We honor you for your resolve, your determination, and your fortitude. We believe that the lessons learned with your peers and your professors will serve you well in your chosen profession and throughout life. May your undergraduate memories forged at Worcester State during a global health emergency be memories that will last a lifetime and can be told from a perspective of perseverance. As I gavel this virtual ceremony to a close, there are some guests who would like to bring some well wishes to you, the class of 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You've worked hard for the past years to get to this point. Um, you have great things coming for you in the future. I just want to take this opportunity to congratulate you and wish you the best of luck. No one can block the shine. What's going on? This is running back James by the New England Patriots. I'd like to congratulate the graduating class of 2020 at Worcester State University. This is a huge step in life. It's a huge accomplishment. Hope you guys accomplish all your hopes and dreams. I know it's a little bit different with it being virtual and everything, but this is still meaningful, still impactful. You guys are working extremely hard to get to this point. Just keep up the hard work and dedication. Go Pats. Congratulations, class of 2020. You worked hard and I'm glad to celebrate your success. You have earned it. Hello, class of 2020. As you can see, I dress up for the occasion. Congratulations. We are so proud of you. I want to wish you all the best in the new chapter of your life. You've completed four years of hard work. You've learned many new things and you've gotten some great friends here at Worcester State University. Now, go out and make the world a better place. I know you can do it. Congratulations. 
Hey guys, Brad Marchand here with the Bruins. I uh, just want to congratulate the class of 2020 at uh, Worcester State University. I uh, wish each and every one, one of you uh, the best of luck. Uh, whatever you decide to do and pursue, uh, make sure you guys stay driven, stay focused, and uh, give it your all. Um, and uh, good things will happen. Uh, so again, all the best, congratulations, and uh, take care. Congratulations, graduates. Consider your ways, hang in there, and good luck. Our world needs your courage and creativity to lead us to a better future. I hope that you use your power to uplift and inspire our community. Congratulations, graduates. Hey, I hope you're doing well. This is NS Camp from Boston Celtics. And I just want to give a huge shout out to all the students out there, man. You all have been doing an amazing job. Do what you do best, focus on what you need to focus on, keep working hard. And when, when this pandemic ends, I hope to see you and all your uh, friends and families at one of my games. Félicitations, class de 2020. Bravo et bonne chance. Felicidades, classe de 2020. In any language, we're proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates, on your accomplishment of graduating from Worcester State University. From my home to yours, great things ahead for all of you. Best of luck. Congratulations once again. Hey, what's happening? This is Big Poppy right here. I want to send a huge shout out to Worcester State University class of 2020. The way things are going right now, it's a little crazy, but we're going to go back to normal and to do the things that we love to do. So congratulations to all of you. Uh, continue working hard. Remember, the sky's the limit, and God bless you all. Yeah. Unstoppable, and there's nothing they can do that can stop your flow. No, you're unstoppable, and there's nothing they can do that can stop your flow. No, class of 2020, it's time to turn our tassels from the right to the left. This symbolizes the completion of our journey from student to college graduate. Class of 2020, we salute you for your dedication and your hard work. We know our professors have done a great job giving you the opportunity to learn well, to grow, and to reach your potential. This is your time. The Class of 2020 will be forever known as the class and the generation that adapted, transformed, and was always ready to learn, lead, and experience something new.
Class of 2020, you did it! I'm so proud of your journey! Just remember, wherever you go, make a splash! Class of 2020, we're so proud of you for all of your hard work and your dedication to your studies. And you should be proud of yourselves, especially during these challenging times. Congratulations, you did it. Félicitations, class de 2020. Bravo et bonne chance. Felicidades, classe de 2020. In any language, we're proud of you. Congratulations. Hey class of 2020, Josh here. I just wanted to say congratulations on graduating from Worcester State. I know this is not how you envision the day going, but remember, the comeback is always greater than the setback. I hope to see you around campus. Good luck. Hello everyone. On behalf of the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership Development, we wanted to say congratulations to the class of 2020. We're so glad that you made it this far and we're so proud of you and we look forward to seeing what you're going to do in the future. Congratulations class of 2020. I'm so proud of all you have accomplished. You have done an amazing job of staying positive through this challenging time of COVID-19. Wishing you all the best as you embark upon your new career. Stay a strong goal answer. Hey class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation and all your hard work. As you take the next steps in your life, don't be afraid to take the big shot. We're proud of you, you're ready, you're prepared, you can do it. Good luck. Good morning, this is Nancy Brewer. I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge your hard work, your dedication, and all the sacrifices that you have made to get to this point. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so proud of you, and we have no doubt you'll do some great things in the next phase of your life. Hi, class of 2020, Jen Quinn here. Congratulations, you did it. I'm so proud of all of you, and I'm so honored to have gotten to know so many of you throughout your time here at Worcester State. I know this isn't ending the way we had hoped, but please enjoy your day, enjoy your accomplishments, go out and change the world, and be well. Congratulations. I just wanted to congratulate all the practicum students for the incredible work they did during this very difficult time. Don't be disheartened. The world is waiting for you. Congratulations to you, the Worcester State University Class of 2020. It has been so wonderful to be with you these past few years, to see you grow, and now to celebrate your graduation. Congratulations, and best of luck in the future. Go Lancers! Hey, Class of 2020. Congratulations. You did it. Never underestimate what you're capable of. Good luck to all of you for the future. Congratulations to our health sciences students graduating in the class of 2020. We are so proud of you. You've come a long way since you were a freshman. You've changed in many ways that you probably don't even notice anymore. You're a better researcher. You're a more critical thinker. You know more about the world and the realities of public health. And today, now more than ever, the world needs your skills. So we wish you all the very best as you go out and make a positive difference in our world. You're going to face a lot of uncertainties and we just encourage you to be persistent and keep trying. And we know that you will have success as all of our graduates do. Take good care, congratulations. Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Frechette. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Remember that your happiness and success are not determined by what happens in life or what obstacles get in your way, but by what you do in spite of them. So keep striving forward and reach for the stars. I love when graduation season comes around and I get to see all the soon to be graduates walking around campus in their caps and gowns. I'm sad that this year will be a little bit different, but honestly, this time of year catches me by surprise every time. We spent so much time together. I guess I just assume that you'll be gracing the halls of Worcester State forever. And as much as I'd like for things to always stay the same, it's your time to enter the next phase of life. As your professors, I know we can be hard on you sometimes, but the fact that you made it to this point means that you've met every challenge that we've thrown at you, in addition to the challenges you may have faced outside of school. And for this, you should be immensely proud. You've sacrificed so much to get where you are today. So take some time today, this week, this month, this year, actually take the whole decade to focus on you. You did it. And I feel privileged to have been able to work with you. 
So go out, do your thing, but don't forget about us. So until next time, congratulations. Congratulations. Class of 2020. We're so proud of you. We'll miss you. Go Lancers. Hooray. Hooray. Hi, this is Dr. Linda Larravee, Dean of Education, Health and Natural Sciences, sending congratulations to all members of the class of 2020. I hope that you'll continue to chase your dreams and remember on the way to keep on learning. My sincerest hope is that you'll achieve whatever you want in life. Best wishes. Hello, Lancers. Congratulations. This has been an unusual and tough year, but as the saying goes, tough times don't last, tough people do. You are tough and you pushed through. You should be exceptionally proud of yourselves. So again, congrats, best of luck, and never forget your strength and determination will always get you through. Go Lancers. Class of 2020, we are so proud of you and all you overcame this semester to get to this point. Congratulations and welcome to the alumni family. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You are truly making history. We're so proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. You guys did it. This is Marissa Savanzato, class of 2016. I just wanted to wish the class of 2020 congratulations on graduating. Never be afraid to put yourself out there and be yourself. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Congratulations on a tremendous accomplishment, class of 2020. We're so proud of you. Congratulations, Worcester State, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. You've reached a significant milestone in your formal education. There are significant headwinds in our society today. Be assured, your leadership, your talent, and your perspective are needed. Hold on to your courage. You can make a difference. Worcester State University, class of 2020, congratulations, you made it. Hey, remember this, COVID-19 is just a season. Your accomplishments here at Worcester State will last you a lifetime. Welcome to the Worcester State alumni family. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm wishing you health, happiness, and prosperity. Now, use all the tools that you learned at WSU and go get it done. Congratulations, class of 2020. You made it through a very unpredictable time in history and you should be so proud of that. I wish you the best of luck and much success in your future endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Be super proud of yourself. There's a lot more to accomplish as you start a new chapter and a new journey. One thing to remember is to never forget when you find those opportunities to give back to your local community, give back to Greater Worcester. We all appreciate you. Take care. Hello, class of 2020. You've made it and we're so proud of you. Continue to aim high, work hard, and know that you can accomplish anything. Congratulations. Congratulations to the Worcester State University Class of 2020. I'm sure your final spring semester was not how you imagined it would be, but it certainly is an enormous accomplishment and achievement graduating from Worcester State. Congratulations. You've worked so hard and all your, your time and effort have really paid off. Worcester State has prepared you to be successful in your next chapter of, in life and also know that there are thousands of alumni out there like myself that are, are willing and able to help support you and assist you in transitioning into the workforce. From one proud alum to another, congratulations to the class of 2020. Go Lancers! Congratulations, class of 2020. My name's Greg Rosen, class of 86. From my home to all of yours, I want to wish you best of luck and continued success in all of your endeavors. Remember, don't let anybody tell you what you can't do. You're a Worcester State graduate. You can do anything. Go Lancers. Congratulations, class of 2020. My name is Sam Santiago, and I'm an alumni of the class of 2004. I wanted to share a heartfelt congratulations with all of you. Although 2004 seems like a lifetime ago and we are in the middle of a pandemic, life is still exciting. The world is gonna need leaders like you to show up into the world to really help propel our next generation of leaders. 
When I walked out of Worcester State's campus in 2004, I had a lot of excitement, but I didn't know what exactly was in front of me. Today, I'm a vice president at a Fortune 250 company. My career path really started the day that I graduated from Worcester State. It's a tremendous feat, and I'm really proud of all of you. So congratulations, go out there, and a little bit of advice for all of you. Three things that I say to myself every single day. Be you, be bold, and be heard. Go out there in the world and go get them. Congratulations. Well, congratulations, Worcester State University class of 2020. I'm Brian Scarry, a wildlife photojournalist and storyteller for National Geographic and a proud member of the graduating class of 1984. You know, I've learned that success in life is largely about overcoming problems, no matter what career path you choose. And the fact that you're here on this given year under these circumstances tells me that you've already got a head start on overcoming obstacles. But, you know, as you're heading out into life and dealing with those successes, I just wanted to leave you with a little wisdom from a movie that came out around the same time that I graduated, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And Ferris's words of wisdom were, life moves pretty fast and if you don't stop and look around every once in a while, just might miss it. That's a bit of a paraphrase, but I think you get the point. So good luck and have fun. Hi, Worcester State Class of 2020. Um, I wanted to wish you guys a well-deserved congratulations on achieving this huge milestone. Um, you should be proud of all your accomplishments, um, especially your resiliency through these quite challenging times. Um, I wanted to leave you with a quote uh, as you move on to the next chapter, um, and that is, the world is your oyster, and it's up to you to find the pearls. So with that being said, I wish you guys all the best, and good luck on your future endeavors.